Hey guys, Zix here. Wanted to do a very quick tutorial on some console client scripting. Um, because I had someone ask me how I do what I do. So I decided to go ahead and show you. If you have been watching my videos closely and you see in the chat scroll where it shows I'm automatically being co-opted on random islands, automatically getting uh, crate transfers, um, that is because I coded the console client to go ahead and do that. Uh, I, I know my quality is not very good, but if you can see right here, you can see script send crates transfer Zixter dropper one. Um, and uh, down here is parkour and another parkour here. Of course, there aren't any parkour keys on those accounts right now, so it's giving me a little glitch, uh, but uh, you have to keep running them automatically or else it won't do it. So how do I, how do, I do that? Well, first of all, um, I have four console clients, one for idling overnight with my main, and then three for each of my alts. Um, I'm not going to go into how to set these up from the start, but I will show you how to add scripts and how to write them. It's actually a lot easier than you think. So first thing you want is you want the alt launch dash task file. Um, also for reference, I am using Sheep Killer's original, uh, as you can see, Sheep Killer's reading me here. I'm using his original setup, um, which I'll probably link his tutorial in the video. Just be careful because the Minecraft client has changed. It's been updated. Uh, so you'll need the up-to-date version because his original videos version uh, will not will not connect. Okay, so when you open up the task file, this is like the scripts. This is this this is where it loads all of the scripts. Um, this one right here is the alt launch dash tasks. This one automatically will be here, um, no matter what, whether you change it or not. To add additional. Um, you add bracket, open bracket, task, close bracket. Um, and if this is a little blurry, I apologize. I'm still trying to figure out the quality um, on OBS. I'm having a difficult time with that. Uh, so any suggestions, please, by all means. Um, and then the name of the script with a pound sign before it. A uh, pound sign is like a comment in coding. Um, that way it does not... Uh, it won't run this line. Anything on this line will not run. Um, now these I have um, th these I have uh, pounded out because uh, I don't have a cell alt anymore. Um, I do it things differently now. Um, but if I wanted to reactivate this script, I would just erase those pounds. I happen to not want to reactivate this. Okay, so we want to do a trigger on interval equals true. What that means is with the setting following interval, uh, it will run the following script. Um, so you can see I have a co-op script here. Uh, and it's, it's the script is just co-op.txt. You can see that right here. All I do is send is co-op Zixter, just like you would um, in game. However, you have to add send. If you do not add send, it will say backslash is co-op Zixter in the chat um, as if you weren't doing anything. So make sure it has that send there. And that, that script runs every 120 seconds. So every two minutes, all of my alts are automatically co-oping me. Um, and before I run the, ran all these CCs, I made sure valuable blocks were set to member uh, so that if I'm running farms, with spawners, um, I can go ahead and break the spawners with my main on an alt island without having to log the alt and give officer and all that good stuff. Uh, next one, crate transfer. Now these are a little trickier um, because inside of these scripts you can only do one command at a time. It's like if you look at alt launch tasks, this is the um, 
auto auto queue in case you get sent to hub. Notice how there's only one script in here. If you try to add multiple scripts, it will just override the previous script. Uh, so each one of these files, only one script, like my alt payout, uh, pay Zixter 50,000. Uh, I don't have to do that now because uh, I set things up differently. Alt void chest, um, that's just what I called it, uh, send, sell all. And then if you look at crate one, it's where I send drop party keys. Now you have to do this command twice uh, because of Mind Saga. Uh, you do it once and you have to do it twice to confirm. And that's just send backslash crates transfer the in game name, the name of the key, drop party, parkour, basic, and then how many. Um, just set it to one um, because you're not going to build up that, you're not going to build them up fast enough to send more than one at a time. Uh, and now you have to interval these at different rates or else you will get uh, disconnected for um, spamming. Um, so I do the first one at 120, the second one at 122, because well, this is the co-op. So the first crate transfer is 120, the second crate transfer is 130, uh, the third crate transfer is 140, the fourth crate transfer 150, fifth crate transfer 160. Um, and that they're 10 seconds apart, that keeps them from overlapping and therefore uh, booting um, booting uh, my alt from the server. Initially I had them trying to send all of the crate transfers at once and I kept getting hubbed. Uh, so I had to uh, put a little interval in there. Um, now some of these are still going to overlap uh, because this will go every 120 and then this will go every 130. Well, it adds 10 seconds every time. So while this is now 120, this is now going to be um, 10 seconds later because it's 130. But uh, this will still, they, they won't overlap enough to, to hub you. Uh, and then you can see crate 2 is now basic. Crate 3 is parkour. Crate 4 is dropper and crate five is gambler. Now the droppers and the gamblers are less less commonly um, given to you uh, so you're not going to need those um, really as often. Really I could delay these even more um, but um, they do often or not often but sometimes they'll give you these keys anyway some sort of special promotion uh, or something along those lines or the server breaks so they give you a free gambler key uh, so I went ahead and just kept them in um, there currently isn't a way to send um, scratch alls like they do promotions and they give scratch alls, uh, scratch card alls. Uh, there currently is no way to do that um, unless there's some sort of command they come up with to instantly transfer all of inventory, which I seriously doubt they'll do that. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, you, you just have to log the accounts to, to handle that. Um, the only other uh, thing you can do is you can automatically withdraw banknotes. Uh, that's something a lot of the people in competition will do. Um, so if we're going to do that, I'll go ahead and show you. So open backslash, open um, bracket, task, uppercase T, close bracket, pound, uh, we'll call it withdraw, and we want trigger. I can spell on interval equals true time interval any time interval you want uh, it's gonna be based on how much you're making so uh, if you place your hoppers with your alts um, they're gonna be making the money uh, so let's say you have a hundred hoppers and you're making 50,000 you have 50,000 spawners which is about the max for a uh, hundred hoppers you want to um, you'll probably be making enough to withdraw every 30 seconds or so. Uh, again, you don't want to overload it if you if you do too much or if you match. Uh, we'll see now. See, that's 15. You don't want to do 30 because now every 15 seconds these are going to be at the exact same time. So we'll stagger that. We'll say 31. Um, if you do too much, you're just going to get booted. Um, and then we'll say script equals uh, withdraw dot text. So normally we would save this. I'm not going to because I don't want that. So now we create a new text document. We'll call it withdraw, withdraw, inside withdraw. All we're going to do is send backslash withdraw 
with draw 100, 100 million. And that's it. That will make a banknote for 100 million. And it will do that every 31 seconds um, uh, without, without fail. And uh, the, the reason that I don't do this, first of all, I don't care about hiding my balance any longer. Um, with the way the economy, the server economy is, everybody that's in competition for the top is already making an absurd amount of money anyway. So why, why even bother? Um, they know they, everyone knows you're rich. Uh, but uh, if you want to, um, you're still going to have to log your alt to deposit those uh, uh, bow notes. Uh, there's there's no way to do that without. Um, with on consequence as far as I know maybe maybe I missed something uh, somewhere but uh, yeah that's um, that's pretty much it so um, if you have any questions please feel free to comment um, other than that thanks for watching take it easy